Um, well, I like um, Marcus feel very honoured to be um, uh, invited to talk about this today, and it's given me a lot of um, thoughts over the last few weeks about um, the relationships um, one can feel in space. And I came um, across this quote in the Radical Nature exhibition at the Barbican, where Hegel had um, um, they had a brass band. I don't know if anybody saw it blowing into a huge white balloon to literally sort of make space out of um, music. Um, and the, the Hegel had this um, um, hierarchy. I, didn't, I knew he had lots of hierarchies and, you know, in chronological terms. But he'd actually decided um, that the art forms had um, uh, different values. And architecture um, was at the bottom of this pile, unlike sort of, you know, Goethe building it up. Um, Hegel felt it was close to the sort of base and material. Whilst music, as the most abstract of arts forms, was um, um, very much the most cerebral and the most um, uh, exciting and sort of genuinely spiritual, I suppose he felt. Um, and so in that context, I felt that um, looking, looking at how we use music in architecture, I mean, I don't have a long-term memory for music. So talking to Richard, you know, we were talking about when we design, do we... Um, think in any kind of um, musical, tonal, or rhythmic ways. And actually you do, because you're sort of, you're, you're drawing things and you're rubbing them out. You're almost doing a baton twirl with um, a propelling pencil, with the rubber and the, and, the, and, the, and the marker end. And you know, there's certain things that just don't fall into proportion, um, and maybe it's a counter-proportion, but there's things that you try out, and it's very much a kind of, um, uh, a brain-to-hand affair, so that you're almost going into a kind of meditation as you're doing this thing. And certain sort of um, uh, rhythms do, sometimes you find yourself making little um, sounds, you know, going, da 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 no, da da no. Um, so, it, but it's all at a very, I think, a very basic level, and really, to be honest, what, what, how we use music is very much as a sort of sly advocacy so, sorry, Hot House, which is um, where hopefully um, some of you are coming this afternoon. It was a strange um, abandoned site. This was after it had been already cleared of lots of brambles and things. It wasn't even recognized quite as a site when um, our clients um, uh, managed to um, buy it, um, which was quite useful. Um, we, in our interview, we, we were saying this was an amazing opportunity to animate this corner of the park, which is London Fields, and is quite, it's, quite a, it's quite a sort of grim corner of the park, really, because underneath the two bridge spaces um, that you can see there with the wires, often you had cars being burnt out, and it was just felt a bit sort of dodgy walking through there. So we, we had a whole sort of series of these little sort of animated scenes with um, fireworks and stuff. <coughs> And we were originally wanting to do something which was quite syncopated to um, connect with the movement of the trains, which is just like three metres away at one point from this building. Um, I'm just showing you a couple of the stages of how we, 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 we draw things and think through things. So we would use different kinds of media, and I'm sure it's the same in composition, but you know, at one time you're thinking something and it works well to do a sort of computer model. The next moment it's better to do something with a sketch. Um, and then... Um, you know, you're still drawing when you're on site because you're resolving problems like how you actually really brick in these windows with square bricks and things. Um, so that's the, those dots are the shape of the site, and um, you'll see it. So uh, we we built a kind of boomerang-shaped building along the bottom edge there, but the site is much larger and it includes lots of workspace for um, artists working in physical ways in those arches. Um, 